This is the Sony SRS NB10 wireless neckband speaker. You wear it around your neck like this and well, it's a speaker. It provides a really unique and new listening experience, but does it sound good? Before I answer that question, make sure you hit that like button and do subscribe to our channel to keep seeing more cool gadgets like this. The first question that may come to your mind is, why would someone want to wear a speaker like this? Well, there are some very unique advantages to this form factor, especially when it comes to music. Because of how physics works, there are some things where speakers will always be better at than headphones. And in some of these departments at least, the SRS NB10 really shines. Because of where the speakers are placed on these, they're practically shooting sound right up at your ears. This means that they can envelop you in a surround sort of mix that's much better than what even amazingly expensive headphones provide. Even when you're listening to stereo music, instrument separation is amazing and you can almost physically locate where any sound is placed in the mix. Like sometimes the drums are here and the guitars are somewhere over here and the voice is coming centrally. It is something you may have to experience once to fully understand it, but take my word for it, it's a fantastic experience. It also has really good clarity. Now, there are some drawbacks of this form factor too, the main one being bass. Again, due to physics, speakers are generally much better than headphones at bass. Speaker drivers are much bigger, they can physically move around a lot more, so they produce great sub-bass frequencies you normally can't get from earphones or headphones. These, unfortunately, have similar physical constraints to headphones. Because the drivers here have to fit inside this slim body, and it's worn on your neck so it can't move around or vibrate too much, the SRS NB10 don't really have good bass. They struggle with anything in the low end and mostly end up sounding really tinny. These have less bass than a modern flagship smartphone speaker, which does lead to some problems. So listening to any music that relies a lot on bass is not a good experience. But also watching movies on this can be really weird. Because on one hand, the surround sound experience you get really shines through in a film. So in something like Avengers Endgame, you can hear all the different whooshes and clangs from every direction, and the heavy strings of the soundtrack, and a couple lines of dialogue here and there, and all of these sounds are extremely distinct. On the other hand, there is very little bass, so the big bombastic action moments end up sounding very underwhelming. Although if you're watching a more conversational movie, then this is nice, because dialogue particularly is more easily heard with these than, say, laptop speakers. What these are really great for is calling. I've taken quite a few calls with these and the voice pickup is really nice and generally decent at cancelling out ambient sound. Other people's voices are also very clear because they beam straight to your ear pretty much. This is particularly great if, say, you're on work from home and need to take a lot of calls throughout the day. If you have a room to yourself, it's easy enough to forget that you're wearing this at all and you get a great calling experience. That room to yourself is very important though because these are basically impossible to use if someone else is in the room with you. Although the sound is directioned upwards, it's still very clear and very audible, both for music and calling, if someone is sitting right next to you. It might get a little mumbled if they're far away, but they will absolutely still be able to tell that there is sound. On the technical side of things, the SRS NB10 connects using Bluetooth 5.1 and supports the SPC and AAC codecs. I do have to say that these look and feel really nice. The design is very sleek with the futuristic curves making it look like a sci-fi gadget. The material itself is plastic, with the finish being something Sony calls fabric-covered design, which is extremely soft to touch and also feels very comfortable when it's on your neck. It's also very light at 113 grams and you can easily wear them for a few hours without feeling tired. In a bit, you'll forget that they were even there. You also get IPX4 splash resistance with these, so you could wear them while doing the dishes or something without worrying too much. The neckband has two speaker units that face upwards and two passive radiators on the bottom. On the left side, you have the volume control and the play pause buttons. On the right is your power button and a mic mute button. The charging port is also here and thankfully, these do use USB Type-C. Sony rates the SRS NB10 for up to 20 hours of battery life, but honestly, that's only if the volume has been set to less than half, which is not very loud. I had the volume at around 80-90% to and got around 8 hours of battery life, which is still quite decent. You also have quick charging, so a 10-minute charge can give you 60 minutes of playback. The Sony SRS NB10 provides a very new and unique listening experience, with a portable surround sound that has to be heard to be believed. I do wish they delivered more bass though, because that would make the sound package complete. 
But if you don't listen to much heavy bass music or you want these for the calling and the talking experience, then the Sony SRS NV10 is available for Rs 11,990.